So today we're going to go over what these lines on the basketball court mean. First is the baseline. You might have heard of the blob plays, B-L-O-B. That means baseline out of bounds. Next is the sidelines. Those are the lines on the side of the court. You might have heard of slob plays, S-L-O-B. That means sideline out of bound. Next is the key. So in the key, offensively, you're only allowed three seconds. So make sure your players only stay in for two, maybe two and a half seconds. Take a step out and then post back up. Next is this weird half circle what's underneath of the basketball net. For those who don't know, a defensive player, if he tries to take a charge inside of that half circle, he is automatically called for the foul. Next is the block. Most basketball courts will have a square on the each side of the key. That is the low block. Next is the free throw line or the foul line. This is where you would normally take your free throw shots when you get fouled on a shot. Next is the free throw line extended. So basically an imaginary line that runs from sideline to sideline along where the free throw line is. Next is the elbow or what is also called the high post. Here is a perfect area to beat a zone defense. Here's an area on the court that not many coaches know about. It's called the Russian spot. This has come into effect and called the Russian spot because the Russian national team used to use this area of the court to destroy zone defenses. It is located between the three-point line and the key along the baseline. If you can get a player with a ball in that area, you will have a very good chance of beating a zone defense.